Good morning. I wanted to show you guys how to do an advanced search in Google. Now, I do know that a lot of times we are looking on, uh, we use Google. Um, some people use Firefox, some of them use Yahoo. I do prefer Google and just the fact that it's, it's easy. Everyone knows how to do it. I think Google has at this point become a verb because you know how to Google. Um, anyway, so I'm going to really focus on Google instead of that, but every search engine that you use has an advanced search on them. Um, it's just might be in a little bit of a different place. So I'm going to start by researching and right here, I'm going to type in frogs. Okay. That's going to be my topic. And one of the things I want to show you guys is we get so many hits and I've noticed that they have stopped actually telling you how many you can kind of scroll down and there's just there, but I do know that I'm getting a lot. If you, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can see that I've got tons and tons and tons of ways to find it. Now, as usual, look at this right here. Wikipedia, again, I want to reiterate this. Wikipedia is not a place to look for your, um, to get any information. It's a great place to get your, um, just your basic run of the mill, I just want this information for me information, but not something to get for research, not something that you can cite, not anything like that. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing this. So what I want to do is I want to narrow my search into my really good, we talked about fake news. I really want to get those really good websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to tools or actually settings, I apologize. We're gonna to go to advanced search. So it's actually gonna pull up this. Now this right here is a great place for you to uh, do things. Now you could actually change what you do. Um, if I am looking for a very specific frog, I can type that in here. I can type in, if I wanna type, type in frogs, if I wanna also add in to uh, toads, I can do all kinds, I can add anything that I want in here. If I'm looking for different things, I can adjust it a little bit, but I'm actually gonna focus on this area down here. One of the things I really want to focus on is I want up-to-date information. I do not want things that are, the last time it was updated, I don't want it to be 20 years ago. I don't want any time. I actually want things that have been updated within the last year. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on that real quick. Now I can also, this is really important. We haven't talked about this a ton, but it's really important for you to focus on very specific websites. Anybody can have a .com website, but things like .edu, .org, or .gov, those things are very focused. Those things are made by colleges. Those things are made by non-for-profit organizations where they are not profiting off of your clicking on them. So I'm actually going to focus on, I would like .edu, or let me add the .edu, and I would like and I believe I can put a comma there, and I want to put .org. .gov, I don't know how much I'm going to find about frogs in the government, but those are government websites. Um, if you're looking at anything to do with a historical topic or even a historical person, you want to add that .gov in there. Now, those are where I'm going to start for now. Um, also, the usage rights, if you're looking at pictures, you actually would want to narrow this. You want to, if you're going to use a picture for your project, you want to change this to where you can actually use it instead of not filtered because that just pulls up pictures that you can't use. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit advanced search and I'm going to see, I think I'm, yeah, that's where I messed up right there. So let's, I'm going to go back real quick. And instead of putting both of these, I'm just going to put .edu. I'm going to change that just a little bit. That way we don't have any question of what's going on. And I'm going to hit advanced search. So now I'm getting only information from educational websites. You'll notice that down here, I still have quite a few um, different, uh, different things, but you'll notice that my first one's explorium.edu frogs. It's an awesome website. Let's look at this. So let's see if it's anything I need to do. I can go tales and tours, online exhibits, frog trap. Uh, I can do, and all of this is a good website. It looks like it was re-updated not too long ago, but that's a good one. Let's look at that. Let's go ahead and look at um, Berkeley exposure. Uh, let's, I'm just going to keep looking down internet classics archive. Let's see what that one is. Okay. Oh, these are the different. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. That looks like it was, but this is what you have to do. You kind of have to go through them. Frog, uh, Florida's frogs. Let's see what's in there. Oh, this is actually going into the regions and the different ones from that region. 
So this one looks like a good one. Anything that I looks like some toads, some different things that I can look at. And if I click on it, so this this is kind of what we're looking for. We've narrowed our search a little bit to where it's very specific. Um, so let's go back. I'm actually going to type in Google again, and I'm just going to talk about the picture situation. So let's say I'm still doing frogs, and I only want images. I'm not a robot. Okay, and let's say I'm doing images. One thing that you can do within this, instead of having to go to advanced search, is I can actually go to settings here, and actually, sorry, tools, and I can go to usage rights. And so I only, if I need to be able to reuse it, I want to label it for reuse right here. And that way, these are pictures that have been approved for me to use within my project. Now, that does not mean I can't, I don't have to cite them. It, I still cite them and say where I got them from, because as cute as that is, I know that I did not take that picture. I can go in and I can actually say, use it in my project, but then I can say, this is where I got it from, and it's still okay to do that. So if they ever see my project, they can actually, I can be, it says it's copyrighted, but I can click on it and I can actually find it. So that's how you use Google Advanced Search to kind of narrow your search, get your better things at the top. Now, remember, all your stuff is not always going to be on that very first, if I go back over here to all, all your stuff, you might actually have to hit that next button. Keep that in mind. Now, I will say not everything is going to have a, um, is going to, you might find some really good ones in a .com. I'm just saying that sometimes it's better to start in that .org, .edu area to start and then kind of back up a little bit. And keep in mind, I mean, because look at this, National Geographic is a .com website. And National Geographic, we know it is a good website. We know it's a it's a reliable website. I just want to make sure that I'm only looking at those. I'm not using ones that can't be used. So keep that in mind when you get started on Google. Um, I'm also going to show you next how to um, how to cite websites that aren't within databases with our um, with our citation machine. So um, that is our next video to watch.